righty. Good getting a fresh start on the windshield there, but it'll, it'll get messy by the end of the day. Hey everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. We'll be uploading this video with some Nomad internet. Link below in the video description. We got to put on another farther into Texas today. Coming into view just off to our left here. I call this boob mountain. Literally looks like a boob and a nipple. Obviously it does. Uh, Texas has named it, get this, Squatique Peak. Yeah. Famous little landmark here, a, a limestone hill. Uh, archaeologists have actually recently found um, some Native American relics dated like 6,000 years old. Because of the limestone, I guess it was really fruitful to uh, harvest food and stuff there. Uh, whatever. It's Boob Mountain, and I finally got to see it here in the daytime. Because last time I was through here, I was driving through at night. Couldn't see much of it. Pretty funny. All right, well, one hour of desolate driving, and finally, that speed limit 80. <laughs> uh, finally come to a town. This is Ozona. So... I'm gonna get off here because a billboard back there said Ozona is famous for something, somebody. We'll go check it out. Let's see if they got any parking here at the park. Uh, nope, they're all diagonal slots here. You know what? Nobody's here though. I'm the only one here. I'm gonna take up four diagonal spots. Nobody's here, right? Yeah, so here in Crockett County, Texas, little monument for uh, Davy Crockett. There he is there. They put this up in uh, 1939 in honor of the 1875 Texas hero and Alamo martyr, Davy Crockett. There is also an annual Davy Crockett festival here in Ozona, end of August, maybe the first week of September every year. That would be fun to uh, go to if I ever find myself back in the area, but We've also got the Crockett County Museum next door, which I'm gonna skip for today, but 1875. Man, I tell you, if there are one place that I would, one time in this world that I would rather be in than right now in 2022, it would be 1875, the Old West. I would love it. Yes, I know there wouldn't be internet and game systems and refrigeration and air conditioning, but it's worth it to me if I could go back in time right now, 1875. The park also has this other monument here. It looks like a cowboy and his wife and some cactus. It's called The Tie That Binds by Judy Black, but no other description about what it actually represents, just its title and the artist. Okay. But I'm gonna make lunch while I'm uh, parked here, having a banquet and mega meal Salisbury steak and taters there in the microwave. Running my microwave off my lithium batteries, uh, charged by solar on the roof. You know what? <laughs> I still have not even turned on my onboard generator once since I left Vagabond Base Camp. Not once. Don't need it anymore. As long as we can get sunshine and recharge the batteries, I can live unplugged indefinitely. I'm just gonna need fresh water and to dump my tanks at least once a week or once every 10 days, but remind me to start up my generator and actually use it under a load here soon, at least to keep it running well in case I do need it. <laughs> Great day to be outside in Texas. Get a load of this gourmet banquet food, guys. Actually, the more I look at it, the more I don't even wanna eat it, but. It's, it's not, it's not better than it looks, but it's not as bad as it looks. Okay, okay. Try the taters. Mm-hmm. There is a slight resemblance of, of a potato in there. <laughs> I think we can do better. I think we can do better today. Well, let's get back on the road. Well, let's do back roads for a little bit here, county roads instead of the interstate for a little bit and see what we can find off the beaten path a little bit. 
I'm gonna hit up this rest area because I do not have sleeping accommodations for the evening. I have a harvest host in two days, but uh, for tonight, I'm, I'm about 180 miles from, this is a free dump station? From San Antonio, but I don't need to get there today. Is this a free dump station? Ho, ho, ho! Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Score, they didn't even advertise that. Well, there's a sign here that says potable water, but there doesn't exist anything except for the sign indicating. So just a, just a dump station here, yeah. Usually I don't really like to stay at rest areas because of the fact that they can be really noisy with lots of traffic and the trucks, uh, air brakes continuing to go off and on, reefer units, generators, all that kind of stuff. But you know, in Texas, butterfly. In Texas, you actually do get to, to stay in your RV legally for 24 hours at any Texas rest area in the state. So it's really cool. But I'm gonna look, I'm gonna go ahead and look at my uh, free campsites.net. So let me dump my tanks, I'll get back to you. All right, we're gonna go a little bit farther towards San Antonio instead. I found a, a neat looking free campsite that is gonna be a lot nicer than a rest area here. But this particular rest area here in Texas is pretty darn unique. Every single little shelter has a wagon wheel with a little lean-to roof on it. So if you wanted to uh, camp and picnic uh, with a wagon wheel, you could do that here. Let's go to the front. See here, even the walkway has more wagon wheels leading up to the entrance. Nice job, Texas. Otherwise, not much here, just two restrooms and a map. Okay, well, we'll get back on the road and put on this last 28 miles or so to the park and I'll let you know when we get there. Oh, well, that's weird. Once I actually hit navigate to that place, it changed from 28 minutes to 55 minutes. But it's all on Interstate 10 here, I-10, so that should be fine. The last thing I'm gonna do as I go around the loop is I'm just gonna be looking off to my left just to see if they have a potable drinking water where I could top off, because really dumping the tanks is just half of it. I still need water to replenish what I'm going to use, you know, for everything. There is a drinking fountain. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I see something. Oh, what a score. Look at this on the back of the drinking fountain. Let me do this real quick. Let me get water real quick. Because the more places that I can get a free dump and free water, the less time I have to spend at RV parks plugged in for that service. It basically extends me out another 10 days to boondock, which is what I like to do. All right, we just got into Junction, Texas. That's also where the free campsite is. I'm gonna get gas here at Pilot and check my gas mileage because I haven't run the generator. Uh, looks like 315 a gallon. It's through these trees, you can't see, but 315 a gallon, five cents off means 310 a gallon. Going to be some of the least expensive fuel in a long time. I'm not gonna say cheap, <laughs> but, but yeah, 310 three, a gallon is going to be the least expensive in a very long time. Big question is, do they have RV pumps or am I going to be waiting here for a while? They do not have RV pumps. So I, what am I going to do? I'm gonna swing around. I'm gonna try to get in line on the other side so that I have an easy way out. Okay, I'll do my hard work now getting in and wait. Maybe even have lunch while I'm waiting because sometimes it takes a really long time and then when I leave, it'll be easier. In fact, this one over here, clearance, clearance. I don't see a clearance. Yep, we just gotta wait for this one Toyota to finish and then I can pull up a little more. Or can we make it? Might be able to. Yep, he's done anyway. Cool, that was quick. All right, 196 divided by 21.1 equals 9.2 miles per gallon. Not bad for a Ford V10. A sign say City Park. It's just called City Park? <laughs> okay, that's cool. Is that, it's a river or a lake in front of us too. Where do I park? I was gonna say I, I would park by the river, but there's a sign on this tree right in front of us that says no camping by the river from the dam to the bridge. Okay. 
So we're gonna have to stay off the river. I don't actually know which side the dam's on, so I don't know what that really means, but through here seems like a nice little camping area, right? Um, but I want my door facing this way, so I might swap around here. We'll see here. Here we go. Yeah, we got a view of the water right here. Okay. Uh, I still gotta fix that latch. I've got it coming on uh, Amazon. Just gotta wait till we get to Houston to pick it up. It'll be okay. Yeah, so I did a little bit, a little bit of research. The dam is farther up, so that sign that said between the dam and bridge is farther up. These are all places where you can camp, and man, this is a really, really good campsite for free 99. Thank you, freecampsites.net. What a beautiful little free campsite. I've got my own uh, garbage can there. Got my own covered area with a picnic table and a little charcoal grill there. Did I mention a view? Look at the beautiful color of that water that reminds me of some Washington State rivers, like the Satsop. And uh, there's a dam right up there. Wow. Thank you, Texas. Now, aren't we glad we didn't stay at that rest area with the truckers? <laughs> I love it. So what is Junction, Texas known for, famous for? I guess this. You see, they keep their Christmas tree up all year long, except it's not a Christmas tree. It is the deer horn tree of 1968. A, a tree, a Christmas tree with nothing but antlers, deer antlers. Oh, and your occasional little snaky snake there. And some Mardi Gras beads. There you go, guys. Welcome to Texas Quirky. Okay. Let me grab some lunch. Anything will be better than that TV dinner and then we'll take it back and have a little picnic at our campground. There we go. A little bit better than my TV dinner. Sonic delivered with some popcorn chicken, some tater tots, cause there's no tater haters here, a Coke and a pretzel twist. Look at this view guys. Did I, look at this view. Mm. Mm. All right, and as the sun sets behind me, it's making the sky over here a little bit pink as well. A little water over there. Uh, nearly a full moon up there also. Pretty. Very nice. That little sunset was nothing. I came out here to turn on my uh, underglow for uh, Tater Tot and Frida over there. Going with that uh, green theme once again. I came out here to add some color to the park because I thought it might need some color. Well, turns out they had the same idea. Uh, no, they are not decorating early for Christmas, the park keeps these up year round. These are permanent Christmas lights throughout the entire campground. And I gotta give you guys a huge thumbs up here. I love it. In fact, in fact we'll step back. If you look closely tree to tree, you've got the Romex wire kind of covered in some garland to try to hide it. And that way they could wire up all these trees from tree to tree throughout the park and then leave them up year round. I don't know if it serves another purpose like to deter criminal activity here, or maybe it's just to make people smile. If that's the case, it sure worked. Thank you, Junction, Texas, it's beautiful. Y'all be well, I'm gonna watch some TV with Tara and Opie, and we will see you in the next one, hopefully getting into San Antonio in a few days. Be well, guys, bye-bye.